the moral and missing thread. Yo, I'm about to I'm about to lose my fucking mind. I just sat here and spent like 15 minutes recording and the 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 camera wasn't even recording. Like it looked like it was recording, um, but it didn't. So uh wow, I, I'm just, I'm I'm angry right now. Um so let's just I, I'm gonna do a brief recap. You know, um, <laughs> a, a lot of you, I, I've noticed there, there have been a lot of comments lately, and uh, I wanted to acknowledge everyone and let you know that I know you've been commenting. I've, I've seen that there have been a lot of comments on multiple videos, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I don't see every comment. I, I, I don't get the notifications for every comment. I, I get notified. Like I get a little notification uh, of about 75%. A lot of the comments I don't even know are there until I go back through the comment sections of my video and I'll see some and I'm like, oh my God, I never saw this. Holy crap. And then sometimes, uh, you know, I have to go to YouTube Studio Beta and look through the held for review comments of like likely spam or potentially inappropriate content. You know, I a lot of them go there and i don't know why um and then some some of them that, that wind up there it's weird because it'll be like people who comment frequently on my channel that i interact with a lot it's like well, why their comment go there youtube's a, a, a mysterious place sometimes but um so yeah my schedule it, it, it's difficult to keep up with everything sometimes and sometimes I'm just so exhausted by the time I get off work that you know I, I see the comments and I want to respond but I'm just like so dead inside just mentally emotionally physically drained hate life dread having to get up and go to work the next day and I you know I, I know I have to go to bed early because I have a stupid long day the next day and I've got minimal time in which to record edit upload all that virtually no time with the way I make videos so that in itself is overwhelmingly depressing I mean it, it literally makes me like fantasize about ending my existence because it just seems pointless you know like the one thing that like I I have control over that well no, I, I don't even have control over it like the the one thing that I put I really pour my heart and soul into to to connect to the outside world and to express myself and feel like I, I have some sort of life and some sort of relevance I don't even have time for because I spend all my time at a place that makes me want to die like how fucking sad is that you know I have to go to this place to make money to be alive to not be able to enjoy my life so I know we've all had those fantasies of you know we've had those jobs that were like just really kicked us down and we had these fantasies you know about what epic way we'd quit our job if we could like just the, that uh, you know well today I made a purchase yeah and it's for that reason solely for that reason so this is weird but you know bear with me I bought an official pair of Heelys yeah 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 the uh, the shoes with the, the the fucking wheels you put in the bottom yeah yeah and I know right now you're probably like well, Damien how's what does that have to do with quitting your job so imagine this, like you're in that moment and things are just building up, building up, the tension's rising, you're just th thinking like all sorts of dark, demented thoughts about death, but uh, you know, just uh, people keep talking and they keep pushing your buttons and finally you're just like, I can't take it. And you whip out your sunglasses, aviators, silver reflective, just throw your aviators on, you get up on your heels with your wheels. And you say, deuces, bitches. And you just fucking zoom out on your wheels with your shades. 
How fucking sick would that be? I need to find someone that could be in cahoots with me that will know that moment. They'll, they'll know what, what to expect from me. Like They'll be able to look at me and be like, oh, he's, he's about to snap and film it so I can put it on here and share it with all of you wonderful people who continue to support me and make me feel like my life is slightly worth living. Well, okay, maybe more than slightly because you guys give me a lot and I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, move right along. Tom McDonald, uh, I just did a reaction, if you may remember, uh, just recently, like a couple days ago, for his video, I'm Sorry, which was a banger, by the way. Um, you know, the bars were on point. Um, you know, it, it was a, it was a good, good fucking track. Uh, I don't even know what all to say about it because it was just like the the flow switches the the lyrical content everything about it you know it was it was a, a really 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 good track you know i like the that whole beginning section i mean it was obviously you know it's tom i don't need to say anymore we all know but so, you know, the end of the the track, I mentioned the fact when he said, uh, you know, I'm a gold trophy, uh, your death threats are nothing but ghost stories or something to that effect. And I said, you know, I think he kind of used that in another track. Yeah, it was Exposure, uh, which is another phenomenal track. You know, lyrically, it hits so many good points and in such a clever way. Um, exposure is definitely a track on the list you need to check it out like that's what i'm saying is go check out the track exposure by tom mcdonald you'll understand what i mean but yeah he's got a line in it where he says something like death threats coming every day for me that shit ain't nothing but ghost stories or something to that effect and it sounds it's cool it's really cool um but so is the album that's coming out tomorrow um you know august 30th 2019 it's called ghost stories so he dropped the trailer for it and I'm going to go ahead and react to that. So uh, without any further ado, let's jump into Tom McDonald Ghost Stories album trailer. Here we go. Every man has a moment after he's listened to the hate, after he's processed the ridicule, after he's recovered from the humiliation. Salvation does beckon the man with many wounds. Sometimes he just needs to reach out and touch it. But some men don't want to. The man who chooses not to be delivered from suffering. The man who chooses not to be saved. The man who Okay, so this shit is like legit kind of scary. Like is is it's got some deep, like, psychologically creepy vibes going on. Like this, uh, this thing under the sheet. It's like, you know, there's this, just this ominous, like, what is under the sheet? You know, like, you can feel the chills. You know it's something that you don't want to meet face to face. But he's just like, I'm this close to it. I am, like, right up on this thing. I, I kind of want to engage and uh but i don't like it's just, there's, there's this awkward and terrifying tension i like it now, and i like the everything he's saying it's uh, th this is a good uh you know precursor to what this album is about i, I like it i'm gonna back it up a little bit the man who chooses not to be saved the man who doesn't ask for permission nor beg for forgiveness. The man who looks what he's afraid of in the face, even when it is certain defeat against insurmountable odds. That man knows his truth. That man knows his power. That man knows that when his moment for salvation comes, he doesn't want to be delivered from evil. He wants to be delivered to evil because that man knows all the rumors and gossip and slander and stories of demons and devils and death threats. Stories is all they were. Stories is all they are. And stories they will remain. 
ghost stories. That was sick. Like, I'm... J that was so well done. But yeah, I mean, that... As, as simple as it was, I mean, just... It was filmed, the, the atmosphere, the way it was filmed, uh, the audio, the, the, the samples, just everything. That was really well done. For a, a trailer to an album... That that was top notch. Uh, I've definitely got to give it to Tom, and, and I'm assuming Nova on that. Um, they are when it comes to visual concepts and uh, things of that nature. They they are a tight knit and very creative team, and I, I think that that's cool. That's fucking relationship goals right there. I miss relationships. Um, yeah. So. This is this this was an interesting experiment as well because I, I think I might have one possibly two cuts in this video I don't I don't know I haven't gotten to the editing process yet obviously because I'm still recording me fucking talking but yeah so I, I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna have to work Saturday or all day Saturday or not um, you know but I I should have Sunday and Monday off uh, but you know hopefully if if i don't have to work saturday then once i get off work tomorrow you know for that three days i'm gonna be editing uh, you know i'm gonna be able to finish up the ginger videos start hopping back onto the patreon request series videos and you know a bunch of other stuff you know i might be able to knock out two or three videos which would be fantastic um but just uh you know patience <laughs> I hate it. I do. I, I want to get up every day and make a, a video. That's what I want to do. It, one day it'll happen. You know, maybe maybe one day I'll just before I even have anything else lined up, I'll just I'll just snap and I'll quit and I'll just live off what I have saved. And if I don't have find another job in the allotted time, you know, the balance between what I, I, I just went to a really dark place mentally. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>